from the one, you've won it from the six, is it sort of matchups and you know, who, who runs into who and who's playing well down there? Absolutely. You know, it's uh, one game and you're done. You don't shoot it well one night. And, uh, you know, tournaments, first game's always, you know, real hectic because you're a little nervous. And you don't know how the guys are going to respond. So you never got to get through that first one. It's always a big key. But, uh, no, it's a wide open tournament. You know, we hope we have seven you know, NCAA tournament teams. And, the other guys are going to be trying to get their spot, so uh, it should be a wide open tournament. The last place teams coming off two wins down in Arizona, is that also I mean, sort of, there's some teams that could get on, have the talent at least to get on a run. Washington is talented. Mike does a great job, and you know, they've been up and down. They've lost so many close games. Uh, but going on the road and winning at Arizona State, Arizona, I'm sure gives them a great deal of confidence. And, I'm sure, you know, with their talent, you know, that's, a, that's a scary team. Happy for Peyton to see him acknowledge his player of the year. Absolutely. That's uh, an honor well deserved. And uh, what? Uh, what he's meant to our team, what he's accomplished this year. Uh, he definitely is the player of the year in our league. Definitely somebody that needs to be considered nationally for the player of the year because He's meant a great deal to our team, and we've had a little success. So uh, I'm glad to see him mentioned you know, nationally for a player of the year also. Last year, your, your players talked about how just hard it was to get to bed because they're and they're playing so late. How beneficial is it this year that as long as you keep advancing, you're playing the early game? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, it, uh, it is nice uh, you know, to play in the afternoon. You know, I, I do like that better than playing at 8.30, uh, makes for a long day. And then the game doesn't get over till 10.30 and media 11 o'clock, get back to the hotel and get something to eat, it's midnight and, and then you're still kind of wound up, you know, but it didn't seem to hurt us too bad last year. So uh, we'll just go play and hope that, uh, like I said, we're able to survive that first game. And, and then the adrenaline kicks in and you just kind of go from there. But uh, we will have a tough game. Utah and Oregon State both played us. Obviously, Oregon State beat us. And Utah played us tough as heck. So you know, we're going to have a tough game. You obviously got to take care of what you have to take care of this week. That's the task at hand. But how cognizant just are you of the big picture and the seeding possibilities for you that a run and a fine finish might be able to move up the seed line potentially? Or? That too, you know, we were at 12 last year, and you know, it's it's just a number. You know, I've preached that when we've been 12, so I, I got to kind of say the same thing. When we were fortunate enough to be a one or a three, it's just a number, guys. It doesn't guarantee anything. Uh, whether it's a good number or bad number in your eyes, it's uh, just number. Whatever matchup we get, we sure will be tough. So. But to your point, we want to play well in the tournament. I, you know, some coaches, well, a conference tournament, if we play well, we play well. If we don't, we don't. Eh, winning, still winning. You got to go to play and, and keep competitiveness going and play as hard as you can. And if we're fortunate enough to play three games, great. We'll, we'll be ready Thursday or Friday the following week. You know, guys, they want to play. They'd rather play than practice, that's for sure. So if we lose, we got to come back and practice. They don't want to do that. So um, you know, we, we want to win games. I think like Chris is not going to be ready this weekend, certainly. But any update that way, just, so other than a week went by, more time for the heal. But anything? No update, James. Nothing. nothing uh, uh, we probably won't know until uh, you know end of this week, early next week. Um, you know how it's coming along. I, I know he's got another checkup uh, this week before we go, so uh, we'll just see. You know what the doctors say. They were encouraging, though. So you know, there's a possibility. We'll just have to see how it feels. You guys found a pretty good place the last couple weeks of the regular season last year, and obviously carried the momentum that the road in the postseason. Did you compare it all the way you feel about things these last couple weeks with where you were last year and in the postseason. Nice job. We've won six or seven, you know, so our guys have a little bit of confidence, a little air. Uh, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, last year at this time, you know, our guys feeling pretty good. We've won four in a row and, you know, good road win at Washington. So, you know, I 
I like feeling good, you know, going into a tournament. I like going in on a win. Uh, how we make that develop, grow, is totally up to those guys. But they'll be ready to play. I, I think they're anxious to play. They're excited about the tournament. Uh, you know, the three guys that were with us a year ago that were part of that, you know, they know the excitement that generates and, and how much fun it was. You know, it still boils down to the college guys want them to have some fun. And uh, last year in Vegas, those, were, those four days, you know, I saw a growth in our team, but you know, the camaraderie and the fun they have playing uh, with the pressure on was, you know, that's why you go play college ball. Yeah, you want the opportunity to go on and play, but while you're there, have some fun, you know, and uh, enjoy it. And tournaments can be a heck of a lot of fun. A lot of people are talking about success with football and going back to the it's great for our school, it's, it's great for the, the three programs, uh, obviously we all undefeated at home, so the fans should take you know great pride in that also because our wins at home, what fueled us, uh, uh, you know, to, to be able to win it. And so, you know, I think the community, you know, the students, everybody should take great pride in that because 39 and 0 at home, you know, that, that's a remarkable number. And uh, the guys told me that, uh, uh, I may be wrong on this, but the guys said that there was only one other school that's done it before, you know, so, uh, and I, had, I didn't know that. So, um, if that's true, you know, then, you know, it is really something, but uh, you know, growth of the programs and uh, all three doing well in the same year is, is pretty pretty remarkable. But again, the fans should take great pride in the students because the 39-0 is probably the reason it happened. You know, the players sometimes usually necessarily look around the country to see what's going on. You don't want them to be there. But how much you mention about having fun, Dave? You know, this, this week is kind of a chaos week in the sport. How much are you just cognizant of maybe not watching all the time yet, but all the other teams on your resume, what can help you, what can hurt you? The Big East tournament's a big deal for you guys, the way to see Paul. Just how much you get updates each day as far as things that are helping or hurt you? Yeah, I, I don't follow it. Um, you know, I watch the other games, but you know, all the numbers of who's winning, you know, who's losing. Obviously, I, you know, I know Seton Hall and Michigan and some of the teams that we played in Houston that we beat. Um, you know, kind of are they winning? You know, but as far as putting a pencil to it, um, you know, I haven't done that. But I, uh, it is a great week. I, I love watching the other conferences. Uh, you know, at the hotel. When we were playing those 8:30 games, you know, you get done with the game, you stay up for a few hours getting the, the deal ready, and then get up in the morning and start watching games, and you know, just to distract yourself a little bit, waiting for an 8:30 game, you know, you uh, I got a nervous stomach the way it is, and, and uh, so if I was thinking about just that, and not watching something else, it makes for a real long day. So uh, it is an exciting time. I love watching the other conferences. And you know, watching all the Pac-12 games, you know, and uh, so you know, our our tournament should be as good as any this year. I mean, heck, the first round games were pretty exciting, and then the the second round games, you know, be NCAA tournament teams playing each other, and uh, so the second round should be really exciting. The quarterfinals, I should say, and, and then the semis. So hopefully, we can hang around for a while and you know, and play good. And get ready for hopefully the next turn. Coach, how important has the press been? Full court press uh, seemed like that's been a key ingredient. But then when you got maybe two, three, four, or three games in a row, do you think you maybe better condition where you can keep that press going? And well, we'll press. That's that's who we are. You know, we uh, pressed four games in a row last year. You know, it, we used our three-quarter press a lot more than we've used our. What we call our green press, but uh, full court green. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the the blue is a little bit three quarter court, and we extend it sometimes. But uh, no, it's that's what we do. Our defensive numbers are better when we press. You know, so the ability to score and get the press set uh, has helped us. It just throws teams out of a rhythm. Uh, 
uh, our guys liked it. You know, it gives us a sense of aggressiveness. And, you know, uh, so the press has been a big part. And uh, when we're able to, to get into our full court press and create some energy and maybe a few more turnovers, uh, it's been a little hit or miss, but it's in a lot of games it's, it's really helped, no doubt, no doubt.